Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So this change of location is because I want to celebrate the Christmas tree and also because this is like the only decent lighting in my house right now. So today I want to talk about my New Year writing goals. So Beautiful People is a project run by a book blogger I love called Paper Fury. And each month they post a series of questions aimed to help you get to know your characters and your story. Like their personality, quirks, flaws, all that stuff. But occasionally they post a set of questions aimed specifically at the author and what they're doing. So for today's video I'm going to be answering a set of questions which I believe is the January 2016 set which is all about New Year's writing goals and if I remember I will leave a list of all the questions in the description below and I'd love to hear some of your answers. So let's begin. So number one is what were your writing achievements last year? So 2017. Um, my writing achievement is self-published Beauty and Breakdown which is why I made my... <laughs> too excited. I self-published Beauty and the Breakdown, which is the first novel I've ever completed writing and it's like the closest thing to my heart I've ever done. And I started working on an extended edition of this book, which I wrote a lot of additional scenes for, I've done more editing, I've developed the characters more. Because I released a book but I feel like I released it too soon because I was young and naive and just wanted to have something I wrote in my hands. Also last year, during Camp Nano and also Regular Nano, during Camp Nano I started writing Paper Forest which is my second book which you'll be hearing a lot about in the future and during NaNoWriMo I did a lot more work on that and the story is coming along so well and it's the best thing I've ever written. <laughs> so number two, tell us about your top priority writing project for this year. At the moment my main priority is to like finish the first draft and edit Paper Forest. As soon as that's done, I'd like to be able to start planning other stories, like maybe a short story collection, maybe a novel, like standalone novel, maybe a series. But I also really want to work on a sequel for Beauty and the Breakdown. I'm not sure if anyone wants it, but I know that I definitely do. Question three. I'm going to read a lot of this off my screen because I wrote this down as a blog post, and yeah, I, c I can't remember what I wanted to do. So number three is list five areas you'd like to work the hardest to improve this year. I'm what some people call an underwriter, where I write less rather than more. There's some people who for the first draft of their novels have like a hundred thousand plus words and I just start off with like 30,000 and have to work out from there. So one thing I want to work on is improving my word count and reaching targets without having to add in like so many unnecessary like scenes and like filler chapters or like characters who have no purpose but to die. Also I want to work on like incorporating a character's backstory without like dumping all the information. So without having like a character's moody, then one chapter, the entire backstory comes spilling out and then you kind of forget about it afterwards. Like I want to like integrate the story throughout the entire main plot. And also building relationships. Because in Beauty and the Breakdown the only like solid relationship you see is Clara and Josh. But that disintegrates as the story goes on for plot reasons but I need to develop the relationships between other characters as well. So that's only like three things I want to work on but I'm going to set my aims low and see how it goes. Number four is are you participating in any writing challenges? At the moment I have no solid plans. I might do like a 30 day writing challenge if I need the inspiration. Um, if I get a solid idea for a plot or a new story I might do Cat Nano and NaNoWriMo again. Because they were really good for having a supportive community and like a system. But it gave me a structure for writing and I like that. But also, do I want to dedicate an entire month to working on something when I know I get distracted really easily? Number five, I believe. What's your critique partner beat situation like and do you have plans to expand this year? So I've mentioned in a lot of videos before that I'm part of a website called Mavellas which is like an online writing community and because it's a community you get a lot of feedback and support on your work there. So as I don't have like an official group of people I do have a lot of regular readers who give me feedback on my writing which is very useful and I need to thank them a lot more for that. Number six, do you have plans to read any writer related books this year or are there specific books you want to read for research? So a lot of research I do for writing comes from like blogs, YouTube videos. I spent a lot of time last night googling the difference between strangulation and choking for research. So I know there's not 
books I would read for book research as I have a lot of sources for that. But any writing related ones? Maybe. I have a book that my aunt gave me for my birthday I believe which is about how to be well read so I think that would be interesting to look at. Question 7 I believe. Pick one character you want to get to know better and how are you going to achieve this? My main character from Beauty and the Breakdown, my narrator, my protagonist, is called Josh Ray. And throughout the story, he's probably the one character he gets to know the least throughout the entire thing, even though he's narrating it. And originally I thought that would give him like a sense of mystery and like a chance to like imagine himself as his character. But I think that might be lazy writing, so in this extended edition that I'm planning on writing, I want to be able to like integrate his story more into it and develop him as a person. And then also that would set it up better for a sequel. So instead of him going from like his 2D character into suddenly a 3D one, he can be 3D everywhere. That sounds weird. Tony Morrison once said, if there's a book that you want to read but it hasn't been written yet, then you must write it. What are the books that you want to see more of and what holes do you think need filling in the literary world? I've been reading Rick Riordan, is that how you say his name? I don't know. The Percy Jackson guy. I've been reading his books for years but as I grew up I feel like they're very like middle grade, younger reader based. But I love them so much and I want a version of that or for him to like write for young adults as well. Because you know, as much as I love reading it, I can't help but feel like some bits are too childlike or like too safe. I just love reading about mythology and learning about that so much, but I want something that's more tailored to me. So if you have any like suggestions for mythology based, oop, or maybe like some kind of ancient history based things, leave them in the comments below because I would love to read it, because I need to read it. <laughs> And finally, what do you hope to have achieved by the end of 2018? So, hopefully, Paper Forest will be, the first draft will be done, it will be edited. It may be in the position where it's slowly making its way into the world. That's a dream. But yeah, I definitely want the first draft done. So that's all the questions for today. In the comments below, leave me your book recommendations and also what are your goals for this year? Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.